Alright, hello nih Geno Binasan, welcome back to Nobrian Sobor, the way Geno Binasan Seka YouTube channel Kali ini kita lanjut di semifinal ya, Game of Future Mobile Legends Bang Bang Semifinal, RRQ Hoshi vs AP Brand The winner, pemenang dari M M6 ya First off, Clit versus Layla dan kita akan cover ini ya uh, semoga sih 2-0 untuk RRQ karena saya ini malam-malam anjir kalian tahu sendiri jika nonton pas perempat final aku ketiduran coba oke untuk line up ya di sini banana Cici, Irat, Dritot, ada Lilitot juga, ada juga Kup, Kupra, Kupret ya, dan Laila. Tidak bukan Laila, itu Laila. Laila nanti. Terus juga untuk AP Brand di sini. Ada Ruby, ada Clean Tot di situ, ada juga Flapsi, Hugh dan juga Kyle Tesi, Kyle Tesi. Jadi ada itu apa namanya? Lupa namanya anjir Pakitot, Clean, Ruby dan juga Bax Kilit Serta satu lagi adalah Lupa namanya Anti GC ya Ruby Ruby sekarang wajib sih untuk dipakai. Nice di situ. Plus blood irat ternyata. Jadi minus dua ya. Untuk. Turtle. Kalah juga. They went in back for the Faramis ultimate, which allowed them to eventually take out Irad. And after the dash from the Dyroth, that is the main weakness of the hero, by the way. No immediate dash. Oh no, Skylar. That's the problem. That's the bye. That's the problem with Kufra, right? It doesn't really actually protect teammates anymore, especially if you the fight with the dash with the with the jump. You kind of called it the ace in the hole that they need to look out for. The Kufra could be a possible problem trying to protect Sky. I mean, some great setups from Ogwen, him in with the I'm offended. Masalahnya, nggak ada yang bisa untuk nahan Ruby di situ ya. Untuk melindungi mungkin lebih baik aku malah Akai sih. If they can take down Skylar in the early phase, this is where you see the glass cannon of Layla kind of break down. Tapi untuk late game ya pasti Laila is one of the best sih. Okay. Paksi lead sebagai Petri ya. Your duty as this Kufra for Brusco is just for Lia. Itu bagus loh Lia. Salah satu hero dengan damage paling tinggi. Mentol-mentol itu apa? Biar nanti ngedistrap untuk Ruby sih. Kalau mau disedot, pastikan kena itu. Kena setun. Mentol-mentol. Okay. Very good. See them kind of close it out. That's where Deus Boots kind of struggled up against the Layla. Even though they dominated in the early phase in the mid game, they just couldn't close the game out. And then that's when Skylar came alive. But right now, AP Bryn sitting really good in the early phase of things. If you look back 20 or 30 seconds ago, you can see AP Bryn's micro rotation, wherein they went in for the crab play, and they gave a Okay, di sini perang di sini war war war. Damn. 
Nice. Dia make-nya belum masuk di situ. Banana. Turtle kedua di situ. Arah. Kalah duit di sini ya. Uh, that's a lot of damage. How heavy of a hitter that Layla can be. Irat trying to close the distance. A business strike on the Super Mario, but now hit with the stun. Kyle Teasy hiding the damage. Nice. They make. Oh. Dapat turret yang penting. Oh man, Irat just. Tiga kosong. Irat mati lagi, hancur. Dito itu kurang lincah sih. Mending lain slot itu lebih gigi sih. Tapi aku nggak lihat grafik sih. Sometimes those trade-offs, even if you maybe sacrifice your life as the Cupra, it's you're gonna be way better off if Irad survived that play. So that is something that really is a dilemma for Arkyoshi. Speaking of dilemmas, we kind of talked about earlier. So Layla, oh bukan itu Cici, Layla pindah bawah ya. It was definitely putting some discomfort in the gold lane and the XP lane. Taking down Skylar, taking Banana. They found a kill on Skylar, and they were also able to extend the gold lead for their marksman. He's now up a thousand gold super mark over him. But speaking about the lanes, few will find Skylar. Skylar dan juga. Gonna hit him with the heavy left punch. That is gonna be two more kills for the side of eighty. Itu mati ya ternyata. Dan di sini Paxi lead di sini. It's gonna bite him, and even Octa has to run away for now. Nice, this is very good, Irat. Turtle, very good, very good. Working on it. Macro nya gigi ya. I mean, why they got the turtle on the bot side though? You did see Flat TZ take that tier two turret, so they have map control for the side AP brand and also a great gold lead. Even though they didn't claim that turtle, I would still say overall that's a that's a better trade for them, which is how far ahead they are for RQ Hoshi. They need to start translating some of these objectives in their favor. Yeah, this is what would be a great start because Faramis, yeah, his name, yeah, yeah, Faramis, yeah. Ingat aku namanya. Anti cheat. Avi Brand is known for to go for the, you know, like in the like in the movies, go for the head. You should aim for that. That's definitely what Avi Brand is trying to do almost all the time, especially the way that they're drafting. Oke di situ bottom turut masih strong untuk AP brand ya. Cara duit juga kalah. Bisa dibilang. Tapi itu soal titis kita lihat lah. Kita tahu bahwa Layla itu late game kayak tower ya. They moved in a way that they were able to poke Arki Hoshi. They were able to poke Octa. Then that meant that they can push. Anjir di satu pun. Cici modeling. Was able to extend that kill lead now six to zero. I mean, this gold is steady climbing. They're playing strong, see. Six thousand gold now, three turrets in. Walaupun pemainnya juga di beli oleh RRQ ya. In this entire game, as we are hitting that ten minute mark, a little bit of a struggle in today's matchup. But like we said, RRQ Hoshi, when they pick up the Layla, they're banking on the late game. We know we're gonna lose a little bit in the early phase, in the mid phase even. But if we can hold off. They can turn this around, but AP Brim, like you said, going straight for the head. That game felt very strong, by the way. What they're looking to do, trying to shut him down. You are going to see big setup, though. Banana. Okay, Irat mati lagi. We'll find Irat with heavy left punch. Two members falling for RQ Hoshi, and the Lord Pit has been controlled by AP Brim. But can we see RQ Hoshi? Oh, nice. 
Looks like they are going to have to disengage. They don't have the numbers. They don't have the damage. And they're also too far behind in the economy. It is. It can now be proven that AP Brand is the tournament's tempo controller. Oh, Brusco with the play. Damn. Ooh, rushes in on the Skylar. Flapteezy. Oh, we'll get it. The dynamic duo in effect. Brusco very low. Makes his way in. It's a bit dangerous. Which may open up the opportunity. It's a bit dangerous. To try and push in. But you are seeing uh, Okta over there. Both teams fighting out. Yeah. Now going over to that purple buff for a slight invasion. Man. Overall, wow. such a great game for AP Bryn. RQ, but Bryn mainnya bagus banget. Yeah. Well, they have to regain the tempo at the very least. Second, if they can't do that, duitnya kalah ya, luka loh jir. Ini berat uh, ya. Just survive the, this mid game. Just make sure that you you don't lose. Harus survive jangan sampai hancur untuk hmm, apa turret inhibitor. Yeah, definitely going to be a challenge. Destruction oh. rush going out from Skylar, trying to clear those minions. Not even okay. enough damage to do that. Down goes the tier two turret in the mid lane, and now you're looking at RRQ Hosi stripped down to their inhibitors. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be a game for, uh, Hoshi for sure. And I gotta say, there was a, there was this play that AP Bren did again in the mid lane where Super Marco looked to be alone si. in the mid lane when he's pushing, but already Flap PC is pushing that uh that is already positioned in that bush near the mid lane so that left side of the turret that's why even after the initiation coming out from brusco with the late game hero dari rrq itu ada laila lily tot itu yang is doing very strong untuk early itu cici ya very least they're making a macro play for it in that specific case like look at the bush that counties is holding and somebody shows himself in the mid lane It's an ambush, right? So nobody from AP Brain is ever alone. Go they will not make the play that looks like they're isolated. This is the championship caliber team that you're seeing. They have plans every time that they're trying to move. Santai, bro. This is kind of looking similar to the game with Deus Bolt up against RQ Hoshi when RQ Hoshi picked up the Layla with Skylar. Yep, mirip uh, banget dengan si Pakai. not able to close the game out, even with this massive pas uh, Laila dipakai Amy untuk lawan Deus Bolt ya. Uh, Brusco. Ah, uh, Irat mati terus. Bahaya si Ruby coy, what the hell? Ruby is annoying. Kenapa enggak ada purify anjir? You can see RQ Hoshi being desperate for farm. Farm is one thing, but that they can just to get the farm. And all things considered, Irad uh, might have gone for the only play possible. Yeah, obviously he died, but then again, Abraham knew exactly that would that will happen. And now Lord Fight, no retribution for RQ. It's a red three. Yeah, Brusco winding up decides to hit a quick 180. Wasn't able to find the opportunity. Skylar trying to get the steal, unable to connect with the destruction rush. AP Bryn will claim wow. this lord and a body of Super Marco will take down Brusco. I would call that a two for none trade. And right now we haven't seen RQ Hoshi really take any objectives, no kills, and so far. Masuki mid game is ini. Side of things for them. AP yeah. Bryn just controlling the tempo. You nailed the right turn for RQ Hoshi. Yeah, they are uh, reactionary, yeah, heavily reactive. They're not making the heads up play, right? They're not making a play. That's uh, what I'm trying to say here for RQ Hoshi. They're always just reacting to what AP Brain is doing. And that is how you know a team has controlled the tempo, right? So whatever is happening to RQ Hoshi right now is not entirely their fault. It's AP Brain just forcing them to do to be in that spot. AP Brain are so Dwang. They're taking control of the tempo so quickly. Yeah, speaking about taking control. Shot them behind the rose, is it too? RQ Hoshi for a possible early finish. AP Brin trying to seize the opportunity. Nice. Is getting bursted down. It has now fallen and out of the base. AP Brin goes now. It is Dan bisa dibilang. 15 minute mark. Like we said, the later the game goes, the better it'll be for our. Laila baru 13. Ya. Kalau udah 15, kiranya udah very strong. Kind of take that fight and negate the physical damage as you are seeing them possibly go in to try and take some of the remaining inhibitors. Tapi lihat item sih. AP Brin. Uh, very disciplined in this push even when they're leading the weight masih kalah 10 hmm, 10 lebih ya 14k berbeda ya that is 
your way of dealing with the Leila even in the latter portions of the game, even in the late game. Surely the win of nature for Tapi sayang untuk timnya RRQ di sini untuk hero yang melindungi Laila itu hampir kurang coy. That Halbert pick up coming up from Flap TZ is going to destroy Skylar. Yeah, it's going to be very hard, right? Sangat sangat kurang PTW. I mean Brusco up to a rough start, not really able to find the opportunities for the sets he was looking for and it's going to be a challenge, especially going up against Ogwin on this Ruby. I mean even if he tried to hit a Tyrant's Revenge or Tyrant's Rage a group setup. I mean, Ogwin just has to provide a little bit of chain CC to kind of stop him in his tracks. And I feel like that's a little bit of the struggle we've been seeing so far for him to be able to get those setups that RQ Hoshi is baiting for. Berat, berat, berat. Ape Prince very strong. Terlalu bahaya, Layla. RQ Hoshi to come back from this game. The number one option obviously is just to Maling Lord ini bisa comeback sih. Layla, which is uh, honestly not a bad idea if you think about it. I mean, that's their only way. <laughs> Ya, uh, yeah, memang satu-satunya cara untuk comeback adalah Laila. Dan kita tahu Laila nyawanya kecil banget. Apakah akan ngambil lot? Enggak sih. Kayak mundur. Oke. Okay. We'll be able to find one member RQ Hoshi uh, tried to get that contest on that last minute Lord still didn't really work out in his favor and that's going to put RQ Hoshi in a disposition in this team. That is Skylar. I really questionable play coming up from Banana going for that. I mean they have already conceded the Lord. It didn't have to really look into that Lord knowing that there's a lot of catch from AP Bren. Ini nanti ngamuk tembus sakit banget. Then you're a CC with only one legitimate dash. So Really questionable play coming up from Banana out there. Yeah, and AP Brand holding Boom, the Boom, Wanjir. Try to find their first game of the day. Up against the Jebel. But some great defense. They're able to burst down that little bit. Nice defense. Oh, Very good. From closing out this game a second time. Mentioned that 23 mark being the time. That we are going to be looking to very good, very good defense with him. Oh no, inhibitor hunter semua. Layla no Chikara. Kita lihat. Untuk Layla kita lihat kurang satu item lagi. Kalau aku sih mending. Immortal sih. Kuluh kaya tu itu. Ya. Lilia juga penting juga. Oh. Okay, Irat. Apakah akan dicoba Pika VS2 di sini? No. langsung diburst pakai Clintot Clintot juga let game juga sih absolutely perfect rotations in the early stages even their calculated takes on those crabs just to allow for um super marco to have a x akhirnya burstnya belum masuk ternyata rata karakter di AP brand juga very very keras ya ya bina to stay up top and that also called the attention of the Kufra and we can see through the highlights how that happened again look at them go with the Faramis ultimate on fuel perfect perfect activation and Irad was already in uh, uh, behind enemy lines and you can see Brusco just charging up far too late and that allowed Fuel to catch up Fuel was Ooh. able to take out Irad yeah I like I like yeah yeah Bina kalah this really bit them in the end. 
kalah des ap brand sangat kuat ini berapa game sih Face of 3 ya some great domination inside of all the neutral objective areas taking the lords taking the turtles and also being able to invade and claim majority of the turrets with little to no problem nggak bisa apa-apa kak Arkihoshi was very reactionary just letting AP Brin dominate and it didn't really build up to a turnaround that they were looking yeah. for and I, I think they were kind of kurang CC playing a little bit similar to uh, Dave's Volts harusnya pakai Akai sih kalau di shutdown gitu kan muter-muter oke eh pada kupret kupret gak tangguh we're the world champions we're the last team standing for the Philippines ain't no way we're letting the Layla take us out we're gonna see the last play of the game for AP Brand a little bit from now and they ini sih dicedor langsung Even after some of the defense from Arkyoshi, even before the fight broke out, I already know that this is gonna be ini, a bad yeah, ini decision dia. from Arkyoshi. And what I'm trying to say here is, at this point, 18 minutes, there is no license for Arkyoshi to get out of their base. They're basically quarantined. Tak boleh keluar sih. They don't have the pass from the government to let them out. Eh, clean tot ini ya. Exactly what they should be thinking during that moment. And it only took one sniff from both um, Ogwin as well as Kaltizi to know okay, that okay, okay, they're out of their base. This is our opening. And it will exactly burst AP on Brand attack speed, yeah. Destroying and outplaying Arkyoshi just because of the fact that they're more experienced as well as they have the better tempo control. They knew exactly how to deal with this composition and they punished, punished duly. Kalau ini will full clean ya. Tambah satu lagi Thunder Belt. Berikut. Dan ini untuk statistik sebelum kita pindah ke game selanjutnya. Oke. Okay. Makan coklat semuanya. Nol ya. Takut. Berikut. Jadi itu aja untuk game pertama. Kita langsung ke game kedua. Apa nih?